Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Sports Corner. I'm Mark Regner in time for a video blog for FoxSportsDetroit.com. I hope uh, that you're having a great uh, holiday week, and uh, I will be on before the New Year, so I won't wish you quite a happy New Year. Uh, but as I said, I hope things are going very, very well. As you can tell, we have a, a new addition to the Sports Corner, uh, a facsimile of a World Series uh, ticket between the Tigers and the Giants. And, uh, of course, we'll be changing it up a little bit, but I can assure you Kate Upton, the Michigan football helmet, Old Glory, the Franklin Patriot pennant, and Jamie Pusher's hockey stick will probably be uh, here all the time. But uh, enough of that. Um, it's taken me a couple of days to really get my thoughts together about what Lomas Brown said about Scott Mitchell. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And I'm glad that I've waited a couple of, uh, of days before I did this video blog, although I wanted to react right away. Uh, I've known Lomas for a long time. There's not many people in sports that, uh, that I have met over the years, and I've met many uh, people that uh, I have more respect for than Lomas Brown. He's always been a stand-up guy. He is really, I know it's a cliche, but he's a big, huggable teddy bear. He's full of life, enthusiasm. He's just an all-around great person, and I always enjoy being in his company, and I've always enjoyed doing uh, uh, radio shows with him, TV appearances, whatever, over the years. Uh, Lomas has always been, as I said, just a great and stand-up guy. That's why I was greatly disappointed, shocked, and a little bit angry uh, that Lois, uh, that Lomas's uh, uh, omission of uh, allowing Scott Mitchell to... Uh, to alligator arm it so Mitchell could get hit and possibly out of the game. Now, since that time, Lomas has issued sort of an apology and sort of not. I don't think he really kind of understood what was going on or what the reaction would be. And uh, it's still a little bit disappointing, I think, that his reaction, although, you know, he's trying to uh, say that he, you know, now he's sorry about it. Back then he wasn't. Uh, you know, he said something kind of interesting that Scott Mitchell knew what the situation in Detroit was and where he was frustrated. Well, you know, join the club. Lion fans have been frustrated for decades. And, you know, and I'm not sitting there punching guys in the face uh, at Lions games when I was a fan or anything because of my frustration boiling over. I couldn't take the losing anymore. Now, granted, I know it's a little different if you're a player. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think that Lomas crossed the line because if you can't trust your teammate, then who can you trust? And I think Lomas has done a lot of damage. I know there's some out there who feel, well, Scott Mitchell wasn't that popular. It probably happens all the time. Just because it happens all the time and it's football and they're supposed to be these big, tough guys does not make it right. It was wrong. It was absolutely 100% wrong, and Lomas Brown should be ashamed of himself. You should never, in a sport where guys are dropping dead prematurely, concussions are a problem, where you're an injury away, you know, the next hit your career could be over, to allow someone to get a clean shot, especially if you're an offensive lineman on your quarterback, it's plain old wrong. I don't care all you tough guys out there. You know, I mean, you know, bag that, man. Just bag that because it's just wrong. Now, I want to tell a story about three players. One being Lomas, the other one being Joey Koser, and Jack Morris, all three of whom have had uh, stellar careers here in Detroit. When Joey came back in 1997 after winning a cup with the New York Rangers in 1995, I asked him what the difference was between the Rangers and the Red Wings, who at that time had not won anything and were considered to be the best team that was never going to win a championship. And he said, the biggest difference between the Wings and the Rangers is trust. If you don't trust your teammate to do his job and that he has your back, then you end up trying to do his job, which means you're not doing your job, which leads to chaos, which leads to losing, which leads to no championship. And I thought that that was an astute comment. And I hope Lomas is listening because I think maybe part of the problem is is that if you do have guys copping attitudes on the Lions, and it seems like this is a prevalent thing that has been going on forever, Maybe it says why Lomas played on some of the best line teams around, especially with Barry Sanders. Why they didn't win is because they didn't trust each other. They weren't a team. And I'm sure Lomas's comments, that's exactly what that means to me, is that the Lions were never really a team. They had agendas. They were all over the page. If you allow your quarterback to get a clean shot on deliberately, even though now it's come out that the 
Lions were only down 10 nothing in that game to the Packers, and the play that Lomas talked about was not the play that Scott Mitchell got injured on. It doesn't matter. He still allowed it to happen. He wanted his quarterback to get hurt and get out of the game. Completely wrong. Uh, and it's, it's just beyond me because, as I said, I like Lomas a lot. I consider him a friend. I think he's a great guy. This is just not right. Um, so I want to talk about Jack Morris. Several years ago when Jack Morris was being inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame, his induction speech was a tear-felt apology for being a jerk while he was a Detroit Tiger. He apologized to everybody, and you could tell that uh, Jack Morris really felt it. It's a speech that I'll always remember. It really stayed with me because, quite frankly, it was out of character for Jack Morris. Well, Lomas Brown is being inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame this year, and rightly so. I what eight-time Pro Bowler, won a Super Bowl, uh, six times a, a Pro Bowler with, uh, uh, with the Lions, I think... Uh, twice first-team All-Star as an offensive lineman. You cannot take away what Lomas did on the field as a player. However, he has tarnished his image. When he gets up, and if there is a speech, and I know the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame has changed, uh, changed it around a little bit, but if he does have an opportunity, and he will be interviewed, and I will interview him that day too, uh, to, uh, to address the matter, I hope that he uh, mans up like Jack Morris and has really time to think about it and lets people know just how wrong that was even back then. I know he sort of apologized for it but he hasn't really but I, I would really like to see him that night at the induction ceremony which should be a great time because Lomas I know he's from Florida but he's been one of our own for a long time but I really think that uh, uh, something powerful and an apology should be made that night that he's inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, I can't tell you how disappointed I am to hear this. You know, I, maybe I live in a dreamland. Maybe I think that people by nature are good. That I believe in, you know, peace, love, and harmony, and all that kind of stuff. And it's just not the season. I try to be that way. I really do. And I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. But what I'm saying is, is that Lomas Brown crossed a line that should never be crossed. Again, I've said it over and over. If you cannot trust your own teammate and think that guy has your back, number one, your team's never going to go anywhere. And number two, it's morally wrong. So Lomas, do the right thing. Talk to Scott. Work it out. Find out, you know, hopefully something about yourself. Because you're not that type of guy, Lomas. You know it, and I know it. And hopefully when you're inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame, you'll address it, and you'll let everybody know on one of the proudest nights of your life where you can talk about and address and talk about the lowest point in your football career, which was allowing Scott Mitchell to get drilled by a Green Bay Packer. That's it for this edition of... <laughs> I, I know it was kind of serious, but you know, I do feel bad about it because Lo it's just so unlike Lomas. And I don't really understand why he said it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Uh, you know, it didn't enhance his image because Scott Mitchell wasn't that popular of a lion or something. I, I don't know what he was going for, but I'm sure what he was going for was not this outrage where now everything he's ever done is questioned and how can you really trust anything he says? But Lomas, do the damage control, do the right thing, and you should be fine. All right, that'll do it for this edition of uh, Art Regner's video blog from the Sports Corner. We'll be back shortly because it's also football picks. We'll look at some bowl games and, of course, the Lions' last game of the season against the Chicago Bears. Until then, have a safe and pleasant one, everyone. We'll see you very, very soon. So long.